If you have a reflex bowel, the goal of your bowel program is to have soft form stool that you can pass easily with minimal rectal stimulation. You'll want to empty your bowel on a regular schedule every day or every other day. You can trigger your bowel movement using a suppository or digital stimulation. When you use digital stimulation, you should repeat until you're done. But if you need a lot of stimulation or if your routine lasts more than about an hour, you should talk to your healthcare provider. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to bowel care for someone with a reflex bowel. Step one, set up. Begin by getting in position, which may mean transferring to a commode chair or toilet. Make sure you're in a comfortable, upright position with your feet placed on the floor or the footrest of your chair. When you sit upright, gravity helps you empty your bowel. If you need to do your bowel care in bed, you should lie on your left side. Wash your hands thoroughly. If your attendant performs your bowel care, make sure they wash their hands thoroughly. Be careful about fingernails. You may need to empty your bladder or move your drainage equipment. Step two, insert suppository. When you're in position and ready, you can start your bowel movement by inserting a suppository. But before insertion, check first to see if the rectum is full of stool. If so, you may need to remove some by breaking it up with a finger and gently remove it by hooking. This is so you can make sure the suppository is touching the wall of the rectum. Before you insert the suppository, coat it with a water-soluble lubricant. Use a gloved and well-lubricated finger to push the suppository into the rectum against the wall. If the suppository isn't in contact with the wall of the rectum, it won't work. Step three, digital stimulation. Wait for five to 15 minutes. If you pass gas or some stool, it's a sign that the suppository is beginning to work. If stool starts to come out, just wait and let things take their course. When that motion is finished, wipe carefully and check for more stool by doing digital stimulation. Repeat the digital stimulation every five to 10 minutes or after each motion until you're done. If you need to repeat the digital stimulation many times, more than three or four, you may damage the lining of the rectum. If you have difficult bowel movements and need to repeat digital stimulation frequently, this may indicate a problem and you may want to consider speaking with your healthcare team. For more information on how to do digital stimulation, click on the link. Step four, how to know you're done. To make sure your rectum is empty, do a final check with a well-lubricated and gloved finger. There are three signs that your bowel movement is done. First, if no stool has come out after two digital stimulations, at least 10 minutes apart. Second, if you find mucus without any stool. And finally, if the muscles in the rectum become tight again and close around your finger. After you're done, wash and dry the area around your anus.